guys um sorry about cutting off that previous video i'm recording this actually a couple days after i made that and i'm not with garrett so just gonna be me um anyway uh i have had a really hard time killing this boss uh killing rusty i'm gonna try this today if it doesn't work i'll try it tomorrow uh and for some reason i can't use kate with Adventure at Sea anymore, so I'm using Microsoft Zero. Anyway, let's uh, Advent go and I'll let you hear the cutscene. Windows win. So you made it. I was hoping you would. Now I can kill you. Well, no sense in any idle chit chat. Let's get right on with the show. Okay, now. Invincibility. Nice. Sounds like a Cyberman. Whoa. And you do not want him to hit you. Whoa. 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 Where's the item? Ah. Uh. Okay. This requires a lot of space bar mashing. Now, that was this easy. Is not the end. This next part is not. Knife. Okay. Laser. Uh. Knife. Laser. Knife. See if I can do this though. Laser. Knife. Laser. Knife. Ah. Laser. Knife. Laser. Whoa. Knife. So yeah, he spawns stuff at you. Laser. Knife. Trying to save laser battery too. Laser. Knife. Laser. Knife. Whoa. Laser. Whoops. Knife. So. Laser. Knife. Laser. Ooh. Laser battery level, 1560. So he can't hurt you. Laser. Well. Not directly. Laser battery level. 700. Knife. 
Laser. Knife. Laser. Knife. Laser. Knife. Laser. Laser battery level. Two. Well. Knife. I whacked him once. Okay. Oh, I did it! This is it now. You've killed me. I... I didn't think it was possible. I thought I was invincible. I... I... chance at life, but I don't. The question I ask myself is, how can I make your life the most miserable? That's Twitter. Sorry. And I can think of many things I could do to make your life miserable, but I don't have enough strength or enough time. Just remember that, that I hate you. And I wish you were dead, too. I sure hope the Return to Human program works properly. Uh, let's see here. Just run this program with the command line parameter. Return dash to dash human and Thanks for playing Adventure at C Colon. Coding by Aaron Baker. This game was created with Blast Bay Game Toolkit Pro version. Thank you, Blast Space Studios, for your amazing product. Thanks to the voice talents of Aaron Baker as Rusty, 
main character, and pretty much everything else. Philip Benefall as shady post-game employer, and Jordan Werner for some of the numbers used in the CAPTCHA puzzle in the music folder. Special thanks to Jordan Werner, my coding mentor and friend. Thanks to all of the people on AudioGames.net Forum, Glassbase Studios Forum, and Clango for their encouragement and support by playing my game. Thanks to all of the 8-Bit Collective contributors who contributed the music used in this game under the Creative Commons license. Once again, thanks for playing Adventure at C colon. Well, you've beaten Adventure at C colon. If you enjoyed the game and would like to see me create more titles, please visit www.vgstorm.com slash donate.html and make a small donation. You can also find the page by visiting www.vgstorm.com slash AAC and clicking the donate link at the bottom of the page. This is the only time you'll ever hear this message on this save file. Thanks for your time. Congratulations. You cleared the challenge complete the game. Thanks for playing Sorry Adventure at C colon. You are now being returned to the root of the hard drive. Window, 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 window. Welcome. Sorry about that. Please select an option with change weapon trigger. Sorry about my phone going like that. Not sure what that was. Guess someone trying to call me someone or something or an alert. I don't know. Uh. I will check that in just a sec. Anyway, that is the complete game. Sorry that was kind of long. Uh, that's just how the ending was, and I wanted you to hear it. There's some more stuff that we can do. Um, first of all... Window, 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 window. Welcome. Change weapon trigger. First of all, the music changes. It's actually not that bad, actually, if you ask, if you ask me. Um, and, um, yeah. So, that, there's that. The fact that we've won the game. There's a shop to buy item. Post game, post game, post game, post game, post game, post game, post. Welcome. Change weapon trigger. And there's a new thing called post game. Which, uh, well, we'll get into later. I believe this is also the time when the stage builder is unlocked. So if you hit shift S... You can access it. Now, I don't know if I said this before, but the stage builder, the builder is locked until you complete the game. If you want to play stages that someone has created, you can play them. Um, now, I'm going to get into that in just a little bit. Let me check my money. 10,398 bits. Okay. Please, defense upgrade, power up, maximum health upgrade. Bye. Fully restore your hit points. Maximum health, power upgrade, upgrades your power by one. Costs 20, 40 bits. How many would you like? One, two, three, two, three. Purchase success. Please select, leave shop. Visit my shop. 4,278 bits. Welcome. Virus database, difficulty mod. Difficulty mod. This is something else that is unlocked. If you increase this, this means that the things that you fight get stronger. There's also some more achievements if you kill Rusty on a higher difficulty. I'm not going to go through all those because that would take too long. And I think this is a good playthrough of the game. So, I think what we're going to do next when I do this again. I'm going to show you briefly how the stage builder works, and then we're going to play a custom stage that I made about three years ago, <laughs> which is called Macintosh Attack. And then we'll play the post games, 
and I think that'll be it. So, I'm gonna actually uh, go over here. Audacity. Audacity. And um, until next time, you guys, take care. <laughs>